Anyway, uh, looks like they're about to get started here. Uh, Zent's team is going to be the red, red team, team right. and Slip and Slide in purple, of course, will be the blue team. With the t -Nuck tag. Uh, what do you think? Do you think that purple and Slip and Slide change their strategy a lot based on who the other oppon the opponents are playing? I think they'll take a lot of time between games to figure out exactly what they should be doing better. That was really nice for Brett. Yeah, that was a really, Very really good slick. gimp. That was a good gimp on Brett 3's part. Um, I think they do. Uh, I think they've got a lot of versatility with all of their characters, so they can definitely, like, if they figure out that something's not quite working... Uh, I, man, I wish Justin had just dropped to the edge after that back air and stolen it from Brett. That would have been real they sick. They seem a little... They, purple and Slip Slide seem a little rusty today. I guess they have not teamed in a long I time. I think yeah. Purple hasn't played much recently, so that's that I've, might that's be I've been it. Hearing, yeah. um, I talked to him a little bit. He said he's been playing a lot of Rocket League. Shout out to Rocket League. <laughs> Keeping his <laughs> reflexes sharp. And he will be dying for the second time in this game. Ooh, that was And Ian, Ian may be dying here too, but he manages yeah. to get the back hit of that fair. Lucky. Yeah. I wonder why uh, Purple decided to go Falco. Uh, I think that he... Maybe after the last set they played, he's not really feeling Fox right now. Uh, he probably will probably see a Ooh, different character. That down there was really nice. Especially if they if they have a lot of trouble this game. Not even saying that necessarily if they lose, but if they struggle this game, they might do a character swap. Just try and switch it up and figure out what's working today. And it might be a two-way character swap too. You never know with yeah, these Ian guys. Yeah, you can go Luigi and Marth and everything else. Uh, I don't think Ian will play. Me and him talk about Luigi and teams a lot, and he will oh only. My God. He will pretty much only play Luigi with other with Fox players or with like a Falcon. So the only time we'll see his Luigi pretty much is when, when Justin plays Fox. Fox. But even then, he feels that their chic Fox chemistry is better. So yeah. I, I, I don't think we'll really see Ian ever go Luigi in doubles. I, think, I don't think Ian will change today most likely because he's been playing pretty well as far as yeah, I've seen. Yeah, and I think he's trying to – I think he knows that part of his problem that his struggle recently has been like playing so many characters and having to keep so many characters sharp. So I think he might be going all chic at this event uh, just like for consistency's sake. That would be good that. to see. Yeah. Ooh, I don't think man. I've ever seen a tournament where he didn't play Marth or Fox or somebody. So – uh, Zent and Brett winning that game. Yeah, there was really a closely, I guess. I mean, it was kind of close, but Justin, you can see in the player cam that he was not happy about his performance. No, <laughs> and to be honest with you, it was pretty sloppy. Yeah, he, he got gimped a lot. Yeah, he on the on the flip side, he got a bunch of down airs that game, which kept him in it. He did, he did, but uh, versus Peach Man, you have, as we found out, our first game versus uh, Shields and, and his partner, whose yeah. who's name escapes me. Uh, Farm. That's it, Brian. I always call him H1N1. Yeah. <laughs> um, Pokemon Stadium for game two, and it looks like the boys will be going double, double Fox. Fox. So this is one of those things that uh, I was talking about when I said we could see a two-way character swap. This is a team that they rarely ever play because Ian feels that his Fox is, quote-unquote, not very good. But uh, we'll see. I think it's just so janky. Okay. And they're getting mopped. Yeah, uh, they are. Their first stock here. You can't snooze on Zent. Yeah, Zent has been showing why you cannot snooze on him at every tournament he's been to, actually. He's just been beating good people. And Brett's no slouch. Me and Brett actually teamed at the Mully or at the Geeksboro that you couldn't make it to. Oh, yeah, that's right. And uh, we just played – we just tried – he just tried to emulate, like, our te team style, and he did a very good job. So, I mean, very cool. we, did, we did very good at that tournament, and uh, I think he's a pretty cerebral teams player. Just a pretty cerebral player in general, yeah. really. But uh, I think he's got a very good mind for teams, and he's got a very good uh, presence of mind. I think his play style is really good for teams, too. He really likes yeah. to, to pick his spots very well. And, and it's like a lot – yeah, I, I see what you're about to say, and to kind of add on to it um, – that kind of Oof. a lot of people, a lot of players when they play doubles will switch their play style or even have a different character just for doubles. And when you get to go into a doubles team and play the player that play the character that you play in singles and also get to play the style that you're comfortable playing in singles, it's a lot it, easier. It's so <laughs> easy and you just have like so much so much less nerves because you're like, I've done this a million times, especially in Brett's case. And they gotta figure out something here or they are going to be going to uh, home for fifth, I think. I think it's like, what this is for fifth or yeah, this uh, is fifth. This quarter. Yeah. yeah, it would it would be disappointing to see what oh I think is God. probably the best team in North Carolina go out fifth here. Well, Mike it's, and Cam are great, but uh, it's purple, been and really slip, slow. purple and slip and slide are two players that don't have that same kind of shine as Mike and Cam in singles. So to see them excel in doubles is 
is it's uh, really exciting. It's really exciting, yeah. But it looks like they're probably going to be going home on this Unless one. Unless Ian pulls something crazy out of him, which it doesn't look like. That is a peach wobble there. <laughs> All right. And Good purple stuff and from slip and slide Zent and will take fifth. That was surprising. Yeah. Uh, I, I definitely wouldn't have put money on that. No. <laughs> so I guess you can call it an upset. Uh, if you were to put Vegas odds on that, I'd probably say that they were two to one. Yeah. To I lose, so solid betting betting line. Yeah. Uh, if I hadn't seen um, the way they've been playing today, which has been a little shaky, I would would have bet definitely yeah, bet even, on. Uh, even during our set, set, I felt like they weren't up to par. Yeah, like, they weren't I felt playing like perfect. They weren't very good. Like they weren't up to their usual self. I feel like one. I feel like the only team that's in the bracket today that is playing at their actual like peak potential or us and uh, Lucas and Stingers. Lucas and Stingers looked really good I when feel I watched like, them play. And we're about to watch them play again. And uh, oh, I feel yeah. like every other team, even Kayon and Tahim, who we almost beat, I felt like even during those sets they weren't playing very like 100% crispy. Like Kayon definitely had some technical clubs that were uncharacteristic of him. Mm -hmm. So 